Hi there, folks. Welcome back to Rich for Abuse. I just got out of seeing the last film for this year's Virginia Film Festival. I am tired. It's roughly 11.30 at night. I've been home for about an hour because I wanted to soak in what I just saw at this last film. And this happens to me. Come on, come on. This is the latest from Mike Mills who have been directed the films Some Suckers, Beginners, and 20th Century Woman. This time around, he's teamed up with A24 and has shot a film that is in black and white and it has a very fascinating monochromatic score. And this is about a guy named Johnny, played by Joe Quinn Phoenix, who is a journalist and he has one of the more enviable assignments that probably never exists in the school of journalism, in which he is a person who is interviewing high schoolers and it's one of those assignments as sort of an oral history project and he goes around asking the same sort of set of questions quite frankly a project like this has existed it's michael apted's seven up series and basically he lives in new york his sister viv played by the woman who was in transparent i never saw that show my parent my parents clearly watched that show my dad and i have rolled his eyes every time he watched that show he and his sister Viv are been estranged for a better part of a year because their mother had recently passed away and she believed that he didn't do a, the more emotional heavy lifting. He has a nephew named Jesse and apparently from what we're told that his father, I assume that is his father, has moved or run away because he is either bipolar or he is schizophrenic. And quite frankly, considering I just watched this film, I've come to on the grounds that he was schizophrenic. Johnny comes out to Los Angeles, and no, there are no real New York, Los Angeles jokes here, although there's probably one very funny text appears upon the screen that you just have to sort of see that to believe it. The person who is hired to play Jesse is a wonderful child actor, and I personally would come to believe that if this kid is hired for more work, he should be, because I think he is quite fascinating. Here's my inherent problem with this particular movie, though. The subplot of him interviewing teenagers is more fascinating than him raising his nephew, because... Quite frankly, a lot of what Joaquin Phoenix feels is what everyday parents feel in real life. Because, hey look, this kid runs off, that Joaquin Phoenix has a panic reaction. Well, any parent would have that reaction. Obviously, I've heard recently of, you know, those free-range parenting laws that will allow your children to go off wherever you want. Well, obviously, when my mother was young, quite frankly, her mother just let her go off all day and she came back at night. He asked some pretty interesting questions, although any young kid like that would ask those questions. When it comes to Mike Mills, let me just say that I wasn't the biggest fan of Thumbsucker. I wasn't the biggest fan of Beginners, although that clearly won, you know, Christopher Plummer an Oscar at his age, and that was semi autobiographical And then he made another semi autobiographical film of 20th Century Woman, a film in and of itself I was not the biggest fan of. And once again, I'm not the biggest fan of what he does here. I am more on board of what he does than the previous other films that he has made. Can anyone here look upon their own childhood with this? Maybe, maybe not. Because, hey, look, families can become estranged. Or family bonds can break and they're real brittle. This is being distributed by A24. Now, A24 films come in two flavors. The non-horror and the horror. I have no like more of their non-horror films than I do their artistic horror films. Again, will this make money? Probably not. This will probably be on the film festival circuit and everyone will probably be asking themselves, what does this all mean? What's the underlying themes here? I have people that clapped at the end of this and I'm glad for those people who clapped. Maybe they recognize their own parenting cells because, hey look, this kid doesn't want to leave his uncle towards the end of the film because he he believes that his home life isn't worth going back to and he tries to trick his uncle at one point and, and the Joaquin Phoenix reaction is quite natural. He's angry. So in the end, folks, what I'm going to say about Come On, Come On, weirdly enough, I'm going to give this a matinee ring because I think there's enough material here that works, although that's primarily because the interviewing subjects makes it worth it. And also, 
This is not the same Woody Allen New York. He lives in a cram apartment. He doesn't have the natural big studio apartment that people see in New York TV and films. So folks, come on, come on. Have you seen this? What do you think? Please put everything in the comment box below here, folks. As always, folks, like, comment, subscribe, and write yourself with knowledge. I'll see you next time, folks, with another film. And hopefully it could be Belfast. It could be anything because let's face it, the next couple of months are going to be interesting.